CBS 6 has the only local TV sports coverage in town, and tonight the Richmond Kickers are taking on Cleveland SC at City Stadium. Our sports anchor Sean Robertson is there with more less than an hour before kickoff. This year's Richmond Kickers team has a distinct hometown flavor. Five players either grew up here or played college soccer here in the River City. As our CBS 6 anchor Bill Fitzgerald tells us, they're ready to connect with fans all across RVA. Excitement is building in the River City with the start of a new season. The Richmond Kickers, winners of the USL League One Championship last year, are back, and they want more. Last year they hosted uh, they hosted a regular season championship, but we're we're, we're after the USL League One collective championships. I want to end the season with both two trophies in the trophy cabinet. After the season we had last year and the, the fans that supported us all through the ups and downs and were there to stand with us and to raise a trophy was a great feeling and the only thing we can do is hope to replicate those sorts of feelings for them on every home game we can. The kickers are setting high expectations for themselves and know the fans at City Stadium share their hopes to go even further this year. But what's unusual about this particular collection of professionals are the deep ties to Richmond shared by nearly a half dozen players. Three played college soccer at VCU. I didn't spend too much time in Richmond before that, and that was my real first big city experience. So, you know, coming up to Richmond to, to start my college experience was uh, nothing short of amazing. For me, like Virginia, Richmond itself has always been synonymous with soccer. You drive down the I-95 and I was right here at school. I always knew I wanted to go down south from traveling all down the East Coast during my youth days and VCU and I just clicked. And two are local high school students. That's right, high school. I've always wanted to do be a pro, but it's coming a lot earlier than I would have expected when I was younger. I'm pretty sure I have a yearbook in my, in my middle school quote. It, it was gonna be, what are you doing 15 years from now? And I said professional soccer player. So it's dreams are coming true and I'm trying to make the most of it. And one has done both. I grew up in uh, Goochland, went to St. Christopher's High School right down the road. Um, played for VCU, so Richmond's in my blood. This community has made me into the player I am, into the person I am, and so every time I step on that, that field, I feel like I have a little extra something in terms of me representing this community. So when you come out to City Stadium, whether you join the Red Army in full-throated roar or not, look out for your hometown pros who know their fan base is second to none. We had big, big group crowds at the end of the year, and it was I think it was, it's the best environment Richmond's had in terms of soccer in many, many years. Growing up, I used to be a Kickers fan, so I used to be in the stands watching the game, which um, uh, the Red Army's great. They're loud, they're, they're exciting, they have energy, which is, it's good. It's good when you're on the field and you're around everyone and, and, and it just, it feels really good. It's a good feeling inside your stomach. I didn't really fully understand how big of a soccer culture it was until I came back and I first signed. and. I went to City Stadium and, and saw the environment. I remember watching uh, their playoff game last year in the locker room before my, my team's playoff game, and I was like, wow, you know, I haven't seen City Stadium packed out like that in a few years. So, you know, I, it was something I definitely wanted to come back and be a part of. The five local players on the Richmond Kickers roster are the most since Darren Swaski became the head coach four years ago. Now, coming up later in sports, we will have a preview of Richmond's match in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup against Cleveland SC. Reporting from City Stadium, I'm Sean Robertson, CBS 6 News.